Hey, this is Alex with EXP Realty. Here in Norton Commons, got this beautiful home behind me. It's got three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, unfinished basement, two car attached garage. Let's go take a look inside. If you have any questions about this home, feel free to give me a call. My direct number is 502-439-9821. In typical Norton Common style, open concept, luxury living, can see all the way back through to the kitchen. Love this layout, love the design. Beautifully updated. So in the living room here, we've got a built-in fireplace there, electric. And we've got space for the TV above that, built-in shelves either side of the TV. and lots of space for all of your furniture here. And as you'll notice, there's lots of natural light coming through. It's just because of an abundance of windows, front door, windows on the front, windows on the side. And then these have got the plantation shutters on the windows. So you can make it more private, even with all these windows. Then moving back through, you've got the dining area, which you can see this is a big table here, nice, hanging fixture above that. So you've got plenty of space for your dining room furniture, even with this open concept style. Then I look back through to the living room, living area. We've got side doors here to go out to your um, outdoor area. You've got patio and grass there. And then we move through into the kitchen and we've got a huge island in the middle here. As you can see it's got a, a edge there that you can make it into a breakfast bar style. So if you wanted to save the space and not use it as a dining area, you can still have a place to eat. Got these awesome countertops, gas stove there, double style sink, looking back through to the living rooms. This is great for entertaining, great for hosting. You can have people in here, people in the living room. And then we've got the fridge there and microwave off to the side. And even with this style of kitchen, you do have plenty of counter space. So not just the island, not to, not just the two bits either side of the stove, you've got, also got over by the fridge. And you've got lots of storage and cabinets here to use as you please. And I'm sure you can notice that backsplash, that reflective textured backsplash behind the stove and over by the fridge. It just adds a bit of a pop to this kitchen, which I really like. And just off to the side of the kitchen, we have a little desk area. So this could be a little office area, a little study area. And then this door goes through to the unfinished basement area. At the moment, it's just providing a great space for storage. You've got your HVAC and water heater, all of your networking. And you got a sump pump there. It's great that it is set up that you could finish this. You could put a little bathroom in here if you wanted to. And you could make this a bedroom. It's already got a built-in egress window, which is really great. Love it when basements do that, when builders do that in basements. Because a lot of times I could just make this fully enclosed. That'd be great to finish, but you could add another bedroom down here, make it a four-bedroom house. You got your main water shut off valve just there. So great storage if you wanted to use it for that, but also great opportunity to finish. And then head back upstairs. So again, living room, dining area, kitchen, and we'll move to the other side of the kitchen. And we have pantry behind here, which adds to the storage space. Not that it's lacking, but this is a great bonus to have. And across from that, we have coat closet, which again, great for storage. Plenty of opportunity there. And then opposite from that, we have half bathroom. So we've got sink and toilet down here with some storage there. And this is the only bathroom on this floor, but it's nice that it's off to the side. It's a great size, it's not too small. So it's still a comfortable bathroom to have for the first floor for any guests that you have that you're entertaining and hosting. Then we have a little sort of mudroom bench here with some storage. It's nice that it's built in and it's right off of the garage door. 
We got a two car garage here, rear entry. And there's a little bit of space obviously for storage items, not just the two cars. And you've got your electrical panel just there. So this would probably be the main entrance that you use using the garage. And then you go through half bath and then you go into the kitchen, dining, living area. And off to the side, we've got the stairs going up to the second floor where all the bedrooms are. So at the top of the stairs, we have linen closet. And next to that, you've got the first bedroom, which they are using a sort of little office reading area. We do have a private closet in here which is plenty of storage space, is a sort of mini walk-in. And then outside of the first bedroom, continuing down the hall, got the second bedroom. And then this is for size perspective, this is a full-size bed. Still got a dresser and a nightstand in here. And we have another storage closet not a walk-in but you've got plenty of space in here it's a double size and then attached to this room we actually have sort of a jack and jill style bathroom it does have a sliding pocket door to make it private and lock that off and if you were having guests here you could lock that bathroom door and just have their own sort of suite in here and then just to go back to the hallway that's where we came from and there's one door that goes through to the second bedroom and then this one goes through to the full bathroom. We've got a sink here, good amount of storage space, toilet, and then tub and shower behind here. And then at the end of the hall, oh, sorry, before we reach the end of the hall, we have the laundry room here. So it's nice that the laundry is on the same floor as all the bedrooms. You don't have to be lugging laundry up and down the stairs. So right here, easy accessible, two storage ca uh, cabinets on the wall there with a little rack in the middle that you could hang some clothes to dry. That's a decent space. And at the end, we have the primary bedroom. And this is facing to the front of the house. And in the corner first over here, we have the primary bathroom. And this is just a uh, single sink on this side, but they do have the bonus sink over there. So although it's not two in line, you do have your own separate sink space for two people. This one a little larger than the other one. But you've got plenty of storage under the sink, plenty of storage on this space. And then you've got a walk-in shower with that nice, the, uh, that wall on the back of the shower there. And then toilet and then you have one of the walk-in closets for the primary bedroom and then at the other end of the bedroom you have the second primary walk-in closet so a quick rundown again we got two primary closets in here primary bathroom this is the primary bedroom then you've got the laundry room upstairs full bathroom Bedroom two, bedroom one, linen closet. And then downstairs, we have this mudroom bench, two car garage, half bathroom, um, coat closet, pantry closet, and then open concept kitchen, dining area, and living room. So I hope you enjoyed this video tour. If you have any more questions about this home, want to see it in person, or the Louisville real estate market in general, you can reach out to me anytime. All of my contact information is in the description below. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.